Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to keep sanding the rear diffuser for the skylight. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in guys, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell to stay up to date with this project for the sky. With that being said, let's get sanded. <laughs> Alright guys, done the majority of the sanding. I've uh, gone through a little bit on a few spots, so I'll need to touch that up. If I don't touch it up, I can just paint it from the back black. So, just going to clean this up a little bit. Let's see how it looks. Not bad. Not too shabby. Yeah, let's uh, do a layer of the clear on here. What I'm going to do is mix it up. It's going to be pretty runny at first. I'm just going to dab on where I've gone through and just put a little bit more um, chopped carbon on there. And then I'll give it like five minutes maybe. And then I'll brush the whole thing and hopefully I will level it out. So I'm going to be using the 500 series epoxy resin and that hardener, the 520B. So I don't want to mess up, so I'm going to put that away. So I can't. So yeah, it's a obviously a five to one. So probably do 100 to 20. So 120 um, grams. So off the scales and. Uh, yeah, hopefully this works. So, I'll get the air compressor on for a little bit and I'll just go over, over it to blow out all the little spots because you don't want to clear over that. Alright guys, so I've got the air onto it and I wasn't too happy about this part here. It's still like it had the, the light yellow epoxy there so I did a sand. I blew it off again, I went over it with some prep wash. Um, still some dots here though. This is like right under the car though, so you're not really going to see that. And this is my first attempt, so let's see how it turns out. I'm going to mix it up. I was thinking, yeah, I'll probably put some there. So the number plate will probably cover that here. If I just clear over this, uh, paint it from behind, black, but from behind you probably won't even see it. You're going to be looking pretty hard at it. But, yeah, I think I might just clear it. And if I go from behind, I could probably do some little patch up jobs with some, some carbon from behind as well. And you probably still wouldn't even notice. Right, so let's just lay the clear on. Actually guys, I think I'm just going to start with 50. I am just brushing it on pretty thinly. 
it's not too filling any deep holes want to put more carbon on so yeah I've just got 54 grams so I'll put 11 grams in of the hardener all right guys so we're gonna be stirring it for a good minute or so make sure it's completely mixed all right guys so I've just moved it around a little bit so this bottom section is pretty damn flat so we shouldn't have any runs really um, but we'll probably have runs coming down here I am going to be brushing it on pretty thin so hopefully it works out alright I'm going to be brushing it on just like paint nice and thin nothing thick We'll see if there's any holes. I'd love to fill it up. A bit harder on the edges here. Yeah. I can't even remember the line that I wanted to take for these edges. Obviously, the thinner it is, the quicker it's going to set. Oh, piss off, spider. Right. Yeah, I can't even remember where the edge is. So. There's no way this is going to run. This is just pretty thin. So unfortunately, where I've gone through, um, I've gone through the mold release too. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this comes off easily enough. It's not crystal clear. A couple of bits that look a bit cloudy. That's it's okay. It seems to be just on this bottom section, which we're facing the ground. Right, well. This isn't going to turn out very well. I can still see where I stopped up last time. I like the cloudiness. I can really see it on the camera. But also here it's doing the, the milky thing again. So it might actually be the reaction between the two resins that I used. The first one that I used that I got from Bunnings, which was a tabletop clear. So, see how this turns out in the morning. I might end up just using this piece to do a mould. Not sure. We'll see how it goes. Because definitely don't want to be running a forged carbon diffuser that looks like crap. So. Alright guys, so the diffuser is probably a bust. So what I'm thinking is leaving it like this, adding another layer of clear on top and then doing another layer of the forged carbon. Like I've shown you, I've gone through on quite a few parts. So you know it's not actually that thick. So probably if I do take this off, it's gonna be that flimsy that it'll probably break anyway. So I might go for another layer of the forged. So after this is all dried, we'll do it again and hopefully we can get rid of all this cloudy junk because it'll be the, the new hardener. Then we'll do another layer of forged carbon and then a new layer of clear again. So hopefully it gets rid of all of that. Fingers crossed it does. So that will have to be tomorrow. So it will still be in this episode. It will just be at the end. Alright guys, it's the next night. And we are fully cured by the feel of it. So, 
you might be able to see that it's not 100% flat and you can probably also actually it's got this little film on top it's weird but yeah you might not be you might be able to see that it's a bit cloudy especially over here so what I'm going to do is do another coat of the resin do another drop of the forged carbon I'll probably get some peel ply onto it and roll it out over the peel ply to get it nice and flat and to fill in the areas where I have gone through. So I'm hoping to get a bit more thickness to this piece and to get rid of um, the cloudiness. So hopefully having the resin, the same resin on top of each other we'll end up with a clear top coat and we'll have it a bit thicker as well. So we'll get some peel ply ready. Mix up just 50 grams again because that did do a bit of coverage. So a good, good layer for me to drop some carbon onto. Then we'll probably double that to fill it in. again another 50 grams same as before I did end up putting the bumper back down it's a bit more stable like that um, so we might hopefully we don't get any runs you know, I am only using the 50 grams but uh, yeah I just cut out some peel ply so hopefully that'll help with um, no runs Okay, right, so I've got the coat down. So we're going to start sprinkling the chopped carbon onto it again. And then I'll get the uh, peel ply onto it and roll it over the peel ply. So I'm mainly going to be looking at obviously really good coverage, but also covering up. Um, the bits I went through, definitely uh, repeating myself a bit here. So the problem with the chopped, doing it as skinning, um, you can't get the thickness, well it's very hard to get the thickness the same. So, hopefully we go alright. Whereas if I was doing the LA as a mold, okay, you're gonna have a top layer that's consistent because you're putting into a, a formed mold. Hopefully it comes out okay. Like I've said many times, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. See what I'm doing. Alright, there we have it guys. We have another layer of carbon on there. So either tomorrow morning or after work, I will put some more resin on there. Probably do a 150ml cover. So hopefully that is good. So and wrap this episode up here guys if you like what you've seen give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please consider hitting that subscribe button and that post notification bell to stay up to date with these these little projects and my bigger ones too that being said thanks for watching and i'll catch you next episode bye